This is Radio Now 95.3 FM. Come for the news, stay for informed conversations. Still on your Beyond the News station, Radio Now 95.3 FM Lagos. This morning, we turn to a conversation around the economy. And this conversation sees the federal government stating that its revenue to debt servicing has dropped to 68%. The Minister of Finance, Wale Edum, has described this as an improvement over the 93% that was recorded in 2023. Mr. Edum also says that the country is no longer dependent on the ways and means advances from the Central Bank of Nigeria, the CBN. Joining us this morning to explore these claims is the Chief Economist at ARC Economics and Data Limited, Mr. Samson Galadima. Good morning, sir, and welcome to the conversation. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning. Uh, what is your reaction to the statements out of the federal government regarding the drop in its revenue to debt servicing numbers? Um, it's a welcome development. Um, no matter how small an improvement is, I think um, we should welcome it. We should encourage it. Um, for the fact that um, debt service to revenue ratio has increased from has improved. It was ninety seven percent in the first half of twenty twenty three. We're taking about sixty eight percent in the first half of twenty twenty four. So this is an improvement. Uh, but the reality is that um, the minister focused on the good sides of things instead of giving the holistic thing. The truth is we have sacrificed debt, national debt or public debt to GDP ratio to help with our debt service revenue ratio. If you look at our debt GDP ratio, it has actually worsened. We have imposed 40% limit on ourselves. The IMF imposes between 50 55 percent for economists like ours but we decided to not even wait until we are done level to consider it critical but at 40 percent and at the moment we are talking about that ceiling that the imf has imposed because our national debt is, is in the region of one to one trillion at the moment while our gdp is in the region of 230 which clearly shows that we are within that 50 to 55 percent. And we're coming from less than 40 percent last year of GDP. So that clearly shows that we are getting into trouble as far as debt stock to GDP is concerned, while we may have improved with our debt service to revenue ratio. And one reason for the improvement is the securitization of ways and means, which the minister refused to even mention. Because if you, are, you have borrowed the central, the federal government has borrowed from the central bank. And when you borrow through ways and means, you pay the interest of the monetary policy rate plus 3%. At the moment, the monetary policy rate is 26.75. Plus 3%, we give you 29.75, which is around 30%. But by the securitization, we have crashed that from something in the region of 30% to something in the region of 9%. So that has contributed to a lower debt uh, service to revenue ratio. Another thing is that nominally our revenue has gone up. So these are some of the things that have contributed. But in real time, in real time, in constant prices, we are still a long way to go. So let me ask you this. Uh, uh, it was just a few weeks ago where in Q1 of this year, we were told that revenue to debt servicing was 74%, and now we're hearing 68%. It does make you question what Q3 and Q4 will look like. And on the basis of this, the Minister of Finance is still insisting that their target for inflation is somewhere between 20 and 25% by the time this year ends. How realistic is all of this, considering the difference in these uh, figures in such a short period? Well, like I mentioned earlier, it's good to hear that we're improving. You know, no matter what, we're, we're inching up. We're, we're improving. And um, I think that's commendable. 
you made mention to the 74% in the first quarter, but the first half of this year was taking about 68%. So that's commendable. Could do it to the fiscal authorities for that. But when it comes to that inflation, I know the central bank mentioned 21.4% this year. If you look at it, we're doing 34.19% from the numbers that came out for June. The Minister of Finance is mentioning uh, having bumper harvest. What exactly has the government done to ensure that we have bumper harvest? It's talking about reduction in post harvest, harvest losses. What exactly have we done? We, we cannot just be mentioning things and, and assume that they'll come to pass. We have to be intentional. What exactly has the authorities um, uh, done? to show that intentionality of ensuring there is a bumper harvest and then post harvest losses are cut down to the minimum. I don't think we have actually done anything whatsoever. So I think it's basically, sorry to say, imaginary. We are hopeful, but it, it is not something that anybody can guarantee uh, because that's what is banking on for the inflation to improve because we know our headline is inflation is driven principally by feeding inflation. So if we can have an improvement in food production or food supply, that will go a long way. And we're approaching harvest. So if the harvest should go well, as the minister mentioned, then of course we should not be surprised by achieve this target. But if you ask me, the possibility of being 21 and 4, as the CBN claim, to uh, being between 20 and 25, as the Minister of Finance wanted, the chances are very small. Well, Mr. Simon, thank you very much for your time and expertise on the conversation. Samson Galadima Simon is the Chief Economist at ARC Economics and Data Limited, and he joined us this morning to speak on the federal government's announcement that it has reduced its revenue to debt servicing from the 93% recorded in the year 2023 to 68% in the first and the second quarter of the year. You're still on to your Beyond the News Station, Radio Now 95.3 FM Lagos. We urge you to stay tuned. The conversation continues in just a moment. This is Radio Now 95.3 FM. Come for the news, stay for informed conversations.